Hey, <coughs> um, is this blood? Does this look like blood to you? Or am I just tripping? Bloody footprint? You see this right here? Could possibly be blood. Hmm. 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 Hey, who did that? Hi, Taylor, how's it going? Officer Russell with the Green Bay Police Department. Just make sure you ain't got nothing on you here. With Taylor. Contact Taylor. Taylor, you have a warrant for your arrest. Just put your hands behind your back with Anybody else in your apartment? You got blood on your hands here, too. No, on your hands. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. What apartment here? What apartment are you in? Do we have Adam Green come up? He cuts me and get out here. On the double. Which apartment? One. One that is what they came back to. Okay. Come here. Come here. Go, 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 go. Guys, hurry and get here now. Watch this window right here. Watch this window right here. We're going to go. go in here. Go in here. Come to the back of the apartment. That's where we're at. You come over here. Two more will be fine. If uh, 84 is here. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Yeah, contact with the mail. Hands up! Walk out front of me! Have a seat. Have a seat. Get out of the ground. Who else is in the apartment? Uh, Be straight up. Uh, Tongues. Tongues? Who else? Just Tongues? Is he armed? Nobody's armed? Nobody's armed. You sure? I'm sure. Green Rock Police! Is anybody in here? Announce yourself now! Go, 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 go. Negative, we got it up here. And for the record, four minutes of that exhibit, actually the entirety of that exhibit was played into the record. Uh, officer, um, having reviewed that uh, video, do you recognize uh, the video that was depicted? Yes. Is that consistent with the uh, uh, body camera worn footage that uh, you were wearing on February 23rd? Yes. Uh, I move exhibit 81. Any objection? No. <clears throat> Received. Um, so I want to ask just a few questions then, Officer. Um, there was an earlier part in the clip where uh, you had noted some area of suspected uh, blood, is that right? That's right. And, and what do you recall observing? It looked like a, a couple of drops of blood in front of the vehicle, along with a footprint that was within or that encompassed one of the drops. Okay. And I guess was that pointed out to other officers who uh, were on scene? Yes. Um, you mentioned then uh, the, the lights of the vehicle were, were activated and sort of flashed, is that right? Yes. And then about 10 seconds later, Mr. Business exited the apartment? Yes. Um, at the end of the video, you're, uh, where were you walking uh, Mr. Business to? I was uh, walking her to my patrol car. And um, was she, I guess, put in the, the back of the squad car? Yes, she was. Was there any like, further questioning or anything done at that point? The only question I asked Mr. Business was if she knew why we were there. Okay. And, and then um, did you ultimately just transported them to the uh, Green Bay Police Department? Yes. Uh, when uh, you got to the Green Bay Police Department, uh, what further steps did you take? Uh, we placed her in interview room three, I believe, where I 
had Officer Kenny assist me with taking photographs of what looked like smeared blood on her hands and on her clothing. I also had her remove some or the sweatshirt that I that had what appeared to be blood on it, as well as her socks and her shoes. Um, and then uh, was another officer requested to assist with the uh, further removal of some clothing? I believe after I left the room, there was another officer that might, might have been asked to assist with the removal of some additional clothing so that Mr. Business could get uh, temporary clothing because we wanted all our clothes as evidence. Okay. Uh, the, the clothing items that, that you took, um, did those um, stay within your custody and control? Yes. Uh, and did you subsequently enter them into evidence at the Green Bay Police Department? I did. Uh, I guess in totality on, on February 23rd, in your interactions with uh, Misha Business, uh, did you ask sometimes some questions of her? I didn't ask questions of her. I more like commands like, hey, please remove your uh, jacket. Please remove your hat. Uh, let me get your shoes. Sit here. Just commands. Not really questions uh, the uh, the commands that uh, the request that you were giving Mr. business um, was she in that time following those yes she was was she in some instances responding appropriately yes she was in in the context of your questions and commands yes she was for instance uh, did you ask you know if there was anyone else in the residence at that point I did ask did, her did she provide a response she did uh, and was there a person located in the apartment yes there was Thank you, officer. I have nothing further. Cross-examination, Mr. Frelick. Thank you. Officer Russell, <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Um, so you were um, asked to go directly to 2320, excuse me, 2353 Eastman Avenue on February 23rd of 2022, correct? Yes. Who, who asked you to go over there? I was dispatcher, and Sergeant Brester also instructed me to go there. Sergeant Brester? Yes. Okay. Did you go by yourself? Several other officers were sent to uh, the location. And what was the purpose of you going over there? The purpose of me going over there was to relieve deputies that were on scene, along with assist with the uh, overall incident. Were you going over there to look at a vehicle or talk to people or what, you know? I was tasked, me and other officers were tasked with locating a person who was last seen with the victim, as well as looking at the vehicle as I described earlier. Okay. So you were asked to go and see if you could make contact with Taylor Shabizas? Correct. <clears throat> Have you been involved in... Uh, death scene or homicide scene investigations prior to uh, this particular situation? Yes. 